Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing very fine. Myself Amit Kumar Mani, founder of Global Pharma Academy. Today we are going to share the very important departments information related to the career opportunities. So if you are pharma student, life science students, you must have a great opportunity in the healthcare IT sector or the documentation department where the most of the official work is there and it is a white collar job obvious and for the future scope it is a great career opportunity. So these are two job opportunities that is drug regulatory affairs and another is quality assurance. So let's talk about these two opportunities so that you can properly understood which sector is better for your growth and also what are the future and scope. Okay, lot of things we will able to discuss here like a definition, then job role, then how to apply for a job, what is the salary, then what are the companies which are hiring for this position, what are the challenges, what the skills and knowledge you need to know to build the career in this individual domains. So let's get started before starting the video. Uh, if you are new to our channel, I must say that uh, uh, for knowing more information about the career opportunities, interview preparations and the certification courses, kindly subscribe our channel. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to share this video to your friends and colleagues. So let's get started. So first of all, I will tell you about the definition. Okay, so about the regulatory affairs, I will tell you each factor. Okay, and about that the two different domain I will explain. So the first all about the definition. Uh, the drug regulatory affairs is a connecting link between the regulatory authority of respective country and a manufacturing company. Okay, so there is an approval process, there is a submission process. So all the documentation part, amendment part, the regulation part, every related information covered by regulatory affairs professionals. So these are the persons who submit uh, the, all the documentation uh, from the part of the manufacturer to the regulatory authority for approval. Whether it is a domestic approval, whether it is international means in terms of the import or export or for the clinical trials. Okay, so uh, regulatory affairs is a very important link between the manufacturer and regulatory authority of India. So it ensures that any pharmaceutical products should be safe and effective in terms of the regulations. Okay, so that uh, that can be effective for common human use. Then the next department is the quality assurance. So quality assurance uh, as uh, its name indicates it assures the quality. So basically before that quality control department is there. So quality assurance is equal to GMP plus quality control means the whatever the activities covered by the uh, quality control that has to be uh, considered and accordingly to validate with the good manufacturing practices and the documentation part covered by the quality assurance. So there are prime department in the industry like production, quality control, quality assurance, but quality assurance is the major department which monitor for the production as well as the quality control as you already know in process quality assurance is there in the production department so in the quality control also there is monitoring from the quality assurance so it is the head department the leader department in the manufacturing process so it also ensures the safe and efficacious drugs from raw material till the finished product so from the raw material till finished product, the how the process will going on, what are the test, uh, even the uh, like quality control test and the documentation part covered by the quality assurance team. So this is what the regulatory affairs and quality assurance. Then next we talk about the role and responsibilities. So as I told earlier in the regulatory affairs, it is an approval uh, that whatever the submission approval taken care by the uh, regulatory authority. So first of all, they need to know the all the guidelines. So basically uh, the ICS guidelines, good manufacturing practice guidelines. Uh, so these are the guidelines need to be considered by regulatory affairs professionals. And once they know, then they have to prepare the document. They have to submit the document and get the approval. So basically what are the role and responsibilities of the regulatory affairs professional? So prepare document, submit application, then comply with the regulatory guidelines, then uh, uh, make the drug more if safety and efficacious obtaining regulatory approval and review documents. These are the major uh, role for the regulatory affair person. Then we move to the next that is quality assurance. So what the roles of the quality assurance? First of all, they need to understand the manufacturing process. So they need to understand the manufacturing process, then the preparing the documentation uh, for approvals also. Like let us say you uh, already know that the, whenever any manufacturing company uh, going for approval of the US FDA, they need to inspect uh, the particular manufacturing plant and that time quality assurance department plays a very important role. So this, uh, this quality assurance uh, makes sure that the, all the documentations are properly prepared for the approval also. 
then again the trading part is also covered by the quality assurance team then deviation management is again very important role then complaint handling this also taken care by quality assurance team then auditing okay so it is the internal auditing or the company auditing so this is the major role and responsibilities of the quality assurance then we consider the knowledge and skills required which is very important for the fresher for the regulatory affair first of all you need to know the ICH guidelines uh, ICH guidelines there are quality guidelines these are the major concern then uh, then next is about the different documentation and approvals like NDA application uh, new drug application or ANDA abbrevi abbreviated new drug application whenever the pattern product is there NDA application is there whenever the products are generic ANDA application is there then uh, DMA master filing is there uh, common technical document Asian common technical documents then dozier preparations these all information or the documentation how they are prepared they need to know okay again the marketing authorization also the process very important they need to know and there are di different uh, like uh, according to the current world okay there are two different market regulated and semi-regulated so according to the country uh, where the regulatory market has some different guidelines semi-regulated had some different guidelines so the regulated person need to know this information okay and so this is about the regulatory affairs but about the, what about the quality assurance they need to know the quality management system Okay, so where the safe and efficacy drug should be made, proper systematic guidelines will be prepared and accordingly they have to prepare the documentation. Then the CAPA guidelines, corrective action, preventive action guidelines, then deviation management, again it is, and risk management, these all are need to be considered and then only they have to uh, prepare well for the quality assurance. So the person who want to build the career in the quality assurance, they have good knowledge about the manufacturing industry, like a production, like a quality control, the different guidelines associated with it okay so uh, as you already uh, had a knowledge about the pharmaceutics pharmaceutical technology analysis so this person can go to the quality assurance department now we uh, discuss about the different departments where the these domain works like a regulatory affairs where the regulatory affairs works this not only works in the manufacturing of uh, medicine again different uh, medicines is again but at the same time vaccines biological products also there are also regulatory work then medical devices is also there then veterinary products are also there nutraceutical products are also there so these all uh, everywhere the regulatory peoples are needed so these are the different departments where regulatory affairs work then about the quality assurance it is uh, not only working in the manufacturing again in the R&D also and even in the corporate uh, quality assurance is different then ITQA is again different in information technology now we move to the next that the hierarchy what position you will get once you select so the first uh, in the regulatory affairs regulatory affairs trainee regulatory affairs manager we move to the next that is quality assurance the quality assurance trainee quality assurance manager quality associate quality assurance associate person these are the different hierarchies now we discuss about how to get a job as a fresher in the regulatory affairs and in the quality assurance in the regulatory affairs first of all there are internship opportunities are also there in the organization so you can join the internship and then you can move to the full time job otherwise you can directly apply for the organizations where the regulatory positions are there so uh, in the next uh, part i am telling that uh, which uh, which companies providing job opportunities but you need to prepare your resumes and apply for the companies but to know everything about the regulatory affairs because it is a lot of guidelines are there you need to know this so you can do any additional courses also so uh, the additional courses is certification courses in regulatory affairs is more than sufficient if you are a pharma student okay uh, and uh, about uh, the how to get job that either you can directly apply for the companies or even you can get a reference or from the manufacturing company like if, if you are working in the quality assurance or R&D you can able to switch to the regulatory affairs department okay internal transfer should be there or you can switch from to another organizations also. Uh, so these are the different ways uh, to get opportunity as a regulatory affairs in, as a fresher. Okay? So in the quality assurance, regu uh, there are different walk-in interviews you can directly apply or directly visit the company's portal where the career op portion, career uh, portal is there. Uh, you have to apply directly. Okay. So there are opportunities in the there in the quality assurance. You need to apply, but first of all you need to check whether it is R and D, whether it is corporate, whether it is manufacturing. All are good. Okay. All are good and growing departments.
Now we move to the next that is which are the companies which hire the uh, regulatory affairs professionals and the quality assurance. About the regulatory, uh, the companies like manufacturing company, they have the site regulatory department and the all companies which, which has their corporate offices, their corporate regulatory is there. Regulators always in the work in the compliance or with uh, quality assurance because the documentation part uh, can be done uh, already done by the quality assurance and this should be reviewed by the regulatory affairs professional. So these are these two departments are in touch with each others. Then the next one, uh, then consultancy firms are there like Fryer and Genpact where the organizations. Uh, doing only documentation part then healthcare IT like uh, TCS, uh, Accenture, Cognizant these companies also provide okay and the CRO contract research organization where clinical trials are carried out there also regulatory positions are there where you have to submit all the clinical trial data and uh, get approval for the next clinical trial okay so all the CROs like IQI like uh, Fortria like uh, uh, Paraxel, uh, Fidelity, Thermo Fisher they also hired uh, regulatory affairs professionals so we move to the quality assurance quality assurance there are like all the manufacturing companies are definitely there the research companies are also there these all companies uh, have a quality assurance department at the of their own you can apply there now next is what should be the salary the salary will be depend on the organization to organization from 1.8 to 2.6 is the common salary for both regulatory as well as quality assurance department then we move to the additional courses which kind of the additional courses you have to do to get more insight about these domains so in the regulatory you can do certification course of the three month or you can do a one year diploma in the regulatory affairs or postgraduate diploma or you can also do master of pharmacy in the regulatory affairs all are good okay if you go for the masters you can get in-depth knowledge you can go in the certification you can get relevant only information for the job opportunity only for getting job certification courses are uh, good to go okay then about the quality assurance same way like uh, one year executive program is there three month certification courses also there uh, so and even m farm is also there in quality assurance you can do as well okay uh, then we move to the next that is what are the challenges so in the both uh, department are very responsible department quality assurance department is responsible for preparing all the documentation for uh, which are needed to be submitted uh, for the approval uh, for or for the export right but in the regulatory affairs also the globally uh, whenever you are going to prepare a, do a dossier or ctd form uh, filing so uh, this is a res responsible department uh, uh, as uh, it is a connecting link as i say earlier from the manufacturing company to the regulatory authority so these are very challenging role regulatory compliance are different you need to know this and the uh, uh, again uh, if the information is not properly designed or properly maintained then the rework should be there so the deviation management is again there so these are the challenges you have to face in both of the departments so which department is best for you so uh, quality assurance is again better department to go okay you have opportunities but about the regulatory it is the emerging sector you will get opportunities not only in India, foreign countries also and it is like wide uh, opportunities are again there. As per my experience, uh, many people from the quality assurance switch to the regulatory affairs. Okay, So that is why regulatory is demanding day by day. So if you build to your career in the regulatory affairs, you can do the three month certification course in the regulatory affairs professional provided by our academy, Global Pharma Academy, where we provide first uh, domain knowledge then skill development then placement assistance okay so uh, in the description i provide all the details but still if, if you want to know more about our certification course in the regulatory affairs call to this number or fill google form given in the description i hope this video will definitely help you to bring more insight about regulatory affairs and quality assurance that will bring more clarity and you can choose your goal and the domain accordingly thank you for watching this video don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe our channel and don't forget to share this video to your friends and colleagues thank you all the best happy learning